solve the triangle if possible. We got side, side, side triangle, so we have to find the three angles. I'm going to use the um, law of cosine to solve it. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cosine of a. So it's 5 squared equals 7 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times 7 times 11 times cosine of c. Cosine of a, sorry. And I'm going to use the calculator to get the answer. So I'm going to do 7 squared plus 11 squared equals and then 5 squared is 25. So 25 minus 170 equals negative 145 and then 2 times 7 times 11 equals 154 so it's going to look like it's negative 145 equals negative 154 cosine of a and I'm going to divide um, negative 154 divided by, so it's 145 divided by 154. It's going to be about 0.94. And then I'm going to do the cosine inverse to get the angle. So second cosine. And then the answer there, just, and it's about 19.69. And then I need the other angle, so I'm going to find B, but this time I'm going to use the law of sine. So A divided by sine of A equals B divided by sine of B and then 5 sine of 19.68 equals 7 divided by sine of B sine of B equals 7 times sine of 19.69 this is 9 and then divide by 5. I'm going to use the calculator again to get the answer. So it's 7 times sine of the answer there. And then divide by 5. Which is about 0.47 and then I'm going to do sine inverse to get the angle so the angle is about 28.14 so I'm going to find C by adding those numbers and then subtracting it from 180 see so it's 28.14 plus 19.69 plus c equals 180 so that's my 28 and then i'm gonna add it plus was I had 19.68 and then 180 minus that answer so it's about 132.18 C is about 132.18